Hello. My name is Jim Beaver, and I would like to talk to you about the events of today, August 2nd, 2020. When I woke up this morning, um, I scrolled through the news on my phone and quickly became sad and depressed and a little bit angry about our great difficulties these days in being all right with each other, in, in working together, in being genuine and humane to each other. I feel that way a lot when I see the news, and today it hit me even harder than usual for some reason. Soon thereafter, I had a bit of a blow up with a very dear friend who mistook a comment I made for criticism of him. I don't understand exactly how it happened, uh, but um, somehow uh, it happened. And he was very upset with me, and I felt terribly misunderstood because I love him dearly and um, meant nothing other than expressing uh, a slightly different opinion about something meaningless, about something trivial. At any rate, I was by that time feeling very defensive, very sensitive, a little hurt, very sad, and I tell you all this because I want you to understand where my head was when I opened up Twitter this afternoon and discovered that someone had posted a long series of tweets accusing me and others of being racist or racially insensitive. And um, in my case, it stemmed from a photograph that turned up from a fan convention that, as far as I can tell from the people who were in it, was probably about 10 or 12 years ago in England, but I'm not sure and it, it probably doesn't matter. Um, for those of you who have not been to a fan convention, uh, a photo op is a situation where um, the actors stand there and hundreds if not thousands of people line up to uh, get their photos taken with them. Um, I'm not real crazy about the process because there's no real rewarding time for the fans. It goes very, very quickly. Um, it's like an assembly line. And they come in, you say hi, they ask you to do a silly pose or put on a funny hat. Uh, you do it quickly and smile and click and it's over. And I'm not sure how much the fans get out of these things other than a photo and the chance to interact for a second or two with somebody that they like to watch on television. At any rate, this particular photo that was the subject of the tweet regarding me today uh, appears to show me making a kind of slant-eyed gesture with my fingers. Um, the two fans in the photo uh, most assuredly had asked for some kind of pose like that. Um, they were Asian. I don't know if that had anything to do with it. Frankly, I don't remember it. I go to hundreds, if not thousands, of these things. Um, my first glance at the photo suggested to me that that's not what I was doing. But uh, I think the evidence is probably... Uh, pretty clear that for that moment I did it. Um, I'm sorry I did it. I'm sorry that my actions offended people. Um, the fact that I don't remember it, the fact that I like to think of myself as someone who would never make an insensitive racial gesture None of that matters. What matters is that people were hurt. 
and what matters is that I reacted badly. Um, in large part due to the state of mind I was in prior to the Twitter uproar. Um, I was oversensitive. I reacted rather than responded. I made excuses and I was unkind to people who pointed out my failing. For that, I apologize. I, um, I don't guess anyone likes being publicly shamed. Um, I can tell you after today, it does not feel good. But that is the price I pay for both being someone people pay attention to on Twitter, apparently, and for being insensitive and not recognizing in the moment all those years ago that what I was doing might be hurtful to someone. For this, I apologize deeply. I am truly sorry. I hope I have learned and will continue to learn about sensitive matters such as this. I hope that I will cease my reactivity and my knee-jerk response to people who call me out and tell me I've done wrong. I hope that I will learn. I have spent my entire life wanting nothing more than to be a good man and, if allowed, to be considered one. I hope to continue my efforts toward being a good man and I hope that all of you who were offended or who weren't but might someday be offended by me will please forgive me. Thank you very much.